hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in SQL server how to add a unique constant key one or multiple columns to an existing table if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates I just logged into SQL server management studio I'm expanding the root folder as well as the databases folder I want to create a new table in this new db database select the new db database right click the mouse and new query select that one now let's create a table create table the table name I'm adding student now in the student table the column name student id which is an integer type not null I'm adding primary key and the identity column which is the auto increment column one comma one the next column name is student name and val cap 150 email and val cap 150 and the last column name is a phone which is an integer data type and notice in the student table there is no any unique constant to any columns in the student so let's execute to create a table execute and here we got a message command completed successfully let's expand this new db database as well as the tables folder and here we got a student table is added right click the mouse edit top 200 rows now let's enter some student details the student id is a primary key and auto increment column so i don't need to add any details here the next student name is a Charan. The email ID is charan at gmail.com and the phone number is 12345. The second student details Peter. The Peter email ID is charan at gmail.com and the phone number is 12345. And notice the column email contains duplicate values. Now I want to add a unique constraint to this column email but the principle of the unique constraint is does not allow the duplicate values when we add a unique constraint so first let's add a unique constraint to this email id what will happen it will accept or it will rise in error create so not create alter table student add and uh, i'm adding the constraint keyword constraint the constraint name is email unique un is a constraint name and i'm adding the unique constant key email the column name let's execute this statement execute so here we got a message with some errors the create unique index statement terminator because it duplicate key so let's change the student details the email instead of e charan i'm adding peter now let's execute the same statement execute see here we got a message command completed successfully let's expand the student table the columns the first key is a student primary key if you check the keys folder there is two keys one is a pk which is a primary student id and the blue color key is a unique constant key for this email we have created so make sure when you want to add a unique constant to an existing table that column does not contain any duplicate values now let's enter new student details james in the email column I'm adding the duplicate value charan at gmail.com 12345 see here we got an error the violation of the unique key constraint okay so make sure when you want to add a unique constant not Peter it's a James so make sure when you want to add a unique constant to an existing column no duplicate values in a column which you want to add a unique constant now 
let's drop this constraint key unique so to drop the constraint unique alter table student drop I don't require this unique email I just require the key name constraint unique constraint name which is a email underscore un so let's drop this unique constraint execute command completed successfully let's refresh the table or keys folder see the unique constraint has been deleted from this keys folder now when we enter the duplicate values chain and james at gmail.com one two three four five so it's accepting the duplicate values now let's check how to add the unique constant to a multiple columns all the table student I'm adding add constant email un I'm adding email and phone here we need to add the unique constant keyword So before execute the statement, if you notice in this table, the phone and email contains the duplicate values. Let's execute. See the statement has been terminated because it contains duplicate values, the both columns. So what I'm doing is to change the unique values. One, two, three, four. This one is six. This one I'm adding seven, three, four, five, six, some random number. One, two, three, four, five. Let's execute the same statement to add the unique constant for this both columns, email and phone. Execute. See here we got a message command completed successfully. Let's refresh this keys folder, refresh. And here we got the unique constant is added now if I add Kumar the new student name James123 at gmail.com and I'm adding some random number so what will happen this email contains duplicate values see it's accepting and this email has a unique constraint the reason why it's accepting means we have combined two columns into one unique constraint for example if I add the same phone number here now we'll get an error see to add unique constraint to a multiple columns we have to add individually so let's drop this constant drop I don't require this one so when we want to drop the unique constant we just require this key name let's drop this unique key it's gone refresh add constant email un and e unique the column name is email and the key name i'm changing the phone underscore un a phone let's execute both statements execute oops here we got a duplicate value let's add seven is four this one with Kumar now let's execute both statements execute so here we got a message command completed successfully now let's enter a new student details Vamshi vam at gmail.com here I'm adding one two three four five which contains a duplicate values here the Charan phone number also same so when I enter tab we got an error message so let's change to 1 2 3 0 
and this one I'm adding Kumar at gmail.com which is a duplicate value so again we got an error message the duplicate key in object student the value is kumar at gmail.com ram at gmail.com see now it's accepting because it does not contain any duplicate values in both columns that's it